All right, guys. So here, here's the helicopter. You got the helicopter? All right, look. Look at the helicopter. And it's flying right over the building, pretty low. Like I said, this is what they do. Okay? So early on, it was a whole bunch of uh, uh, sirens, fire trucks, right? Now it's the helicopter, right? And I was just talking to Pam, and she just started yelling at me and getting angry. She asked, I had told her she needed to get a new sink, right, for the bathroom. Because when she bathes, the water gets splashed and the old sink is leaning. Now, I had changed the plumbing in the bathroom and the kitchen. And I said to her for months now, for months, that she needs to get a new um, sink, right? And, uh, you know, what do you call it? Um, not vanity, but sink, you know, with the holes the sink and the, the whatever I just I can't <laughs> even think of the the name right now but I've been telling her this for months for months and months and months right and she continued to ignore it yeah I'm gonna do it yeah I'm gonna do it but then she doesn't do anything right and I know what's gonna happen what's gonna happen is that if I don't keep mentioning it what I say is gonna happen is gonna happen she's gonna turn on the pipe one day and the water's gonna flood all over the, the bathroom okay so she I, I reminded her yesterday so she sent me a picture of um one of the the sinks from um home depot and i said to her i said that's impractical i said because first of all you have no counter space right i said you you in the bathroom you like to to put stuff on the counter uh on the on the sink you know why are you why are you picking this because it looks nice you know and i'm like <laughs> like come on you know you have to be more practical you know how you are. I know you are. Plus, you have kids. You have kids. So why would you want to have a, a something that just that looks nice, but then you, it's not practical for the fact that you have kids and the fact that you know you're always putting stuff on the counter in the bathroom sink. So she gets all angry and this and that. Well, why don't you give me an alternative? I was like, well, no, I'm not going to give you an alternative because you're not going to like what I give you. So I, I want you to go pick out something else, right? And then she starts getting all upset and stuff. I said, see, see that's, that's the problem. I said, when you get, a, I said, I know you. And when you were, we around white people, particularly white men, you know, you soften your voice. You become more feminine, feminine. But when it comes to me, right, you want to yell and give me all this masculine energy, you know. And I keep telling her, I said, you know, everything that I've, that I've done, right, okay, is, and I give you advice, it, or, I, or I do this, I do that. I said, it's not because I'm trying to hurt you in any way which i don't okay but yeah, you're yelling at me and doing all this stuff you know which again like i said i don't understand i said them, well you get my white people though your voice often you become more feminine i said i, I hear she's like well, that's not true i said yeah i hear you when you're at work when you're on, you're on the phone how you are and when you come here and i'm here you have to give me this you know like you like like you feel like you know like your dick is bigger than mine you know and so yeah so anyway it's ridiculous but this is what's happening you know like i said i'll just show you guys the helicopter what they've been doing you know and and you guys see how it flew directly uh uh up uh, you know over the building and it was really loud too all right so this is what's been happening all day